this morning um, we have a new 1310 series shaft for Adam Goodwin. It's for his uh, 1965 Chevy truck. Um, he, he made some changes to the, to the truck and the um, shaft that he had previously was now too short. And um, so we, while we were discussing this, he pointed out that the, the uh, slip yoke that he had was heavily pitted and he was worried about that leaking. And that, that's a great call. Um, that, 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 that's a good one there. So, change. So basically, I could have re-ran the like the well jokes on the other shaft. But when I inspected it, um, I agreed that the the slip yoke was wicked fitted. But then I was looking at the well jokes, and they had been tubed once, and you only at least once. Maybe they were the original ones, but you only get so many shots at these things, and. I could see that the weld material, the weld, was a little further up on the neck of the weld joke than I normally would like it to be. So it had been parted, materially been parted out once. I mean, that's what you have to do to get them off. And you know, it just it was one of those things where they didn't give me the really warm, fuzzy feeling about them. And what I'm after at the end of the day is to give somebody back something that works really, really well. So. We just skipped over those, so this now is brand new from Indent. So it's a PTI slip yoke that's for a Turbo 350 or a 700R style transmission uh, spline and seal diameter. Uh, a pair of uh, 1310 Spicer Snap Tights, 3 inch 083 tubing. His required length was 53 and 7 sixteenths center to center. And it's got Spicer Snap Tights in it, so all of it is new and all of it is good. Um, I'm going to crank her up. That's humming along here. Yeah, that's about 2800 RPM. Zero at the transmission. Dead flat zero. Zero at the rear axle. So um, the next stop for this is paint, and we'll get it back to Adam.